The point I really want to make is that um, the Islamic ideology is facing uh, a real threat to our freedom, to our Western societies, to the values that are based in our societies on Christianity, on Judaism, on humanism. And I'm also here um, in the United States um, to learn. I mean, um, the United States is the country when it comes to freedom of speech. And I'm here to learn in order to propose a European kind of First Amendment because unfortunately free speech is at trial in Europe today. You know, I watched here, I watched the film online and I would call it fear-mongering at best. At its worst, it really reminded me of the kind of propaganda that's been used to trigger violence and discrimination from Nazi Germany to Rwanda. Well, unfortunately, um, uh, this is not uh, true. I mean, I didn't use any actors in the movie. The movie was made by radical Muslims themselves. I used certain surahs and verses from those surahs, and I used real images from 9-11, um, to um, radical imams that said that they would conquer the whole world um, through the death of one my fellow countryman in Amsterdam, Theo van Gogh. Um, so, unfortunately, I could not have made such a movie about um, Christianity, or I have to say, fortunately, I could not have such a movie about Christianity or Judaism. Of course, it would be ridiculous to say that all Muslims are terrorists. This is nonsense. But unfortunately, most of the terrorists in the world today are Muslims, and the ideology um, of Islam is really, and I truly believe that, is a threat to our free society. But you use the extremes of that, and in the film, the extremes uh, uh, of people that, you know, have lost all reason. And I have to ask you, is it freedom of speech you're talking about, or freedom of hate speech? No, I'm not, um, I'm not somebody who is in favor of uh, hate speech at all. I want to open the eyes of the political elite um, in Europe and if maybe even in the United States that um, um, the Islam is not just another religion. It cannot be compared with Christianity or Judaism. I believe that Islam is more like a totalitarian ideology. It rules all aspects of life. It wants to rule all aspects of society. It doesn't want to integrate in a society, but it wants to um, submit. So I think it is more to be compared with other totalitarian ideologies like communism or fascism. And of course, I make a distinction between the people and the ideology. I have nothing against Muslims. I hate nobody. And the majority of the Muslims in our societies are law-abiding people like you and me. But I have a lot of fear of the influx of the um, um, Islamic totalitarian ideology that at the end of the day, uh, I'm sure, unfortunately, will cost us our freedom if we don't stand up and fight to preserve our own identity. Well, you know, moderate Muslims in the United States, Europe and beyond, they don't like the, the extremists either. They don't like the calls to, to kill non-believers, as they are called uh, in the terminology that you quoted. Have you ever thought about joining hands with them to fight the extremism rather than attacking their faith? Well, like I said before, sir, I am not against, I don't have a problem um, with uh, Muslims as uh, persons. And of course, I acknowledge the fact that there are people who call themselves. But wouldn't you admit people. that the film Fitna is yeah. an assault, an attack on the Quran and the verses it in it? Of course, but the Quran, according to me, is a fascist book. So my aim is to attack and to expose the real nature um, of uh, the Quran. Uh, have you read? Much, ha have you read some of the passages in the Old Testament? Of course, I did. And as you know. The Old Testament, uh, and I know everybody knows passages from the book Deuteronomium, and you know that after uh, the more harsh parts of the Old Testament, there was a New Testament, and the New Testament was more moderate, and Christianity went uh, to, a, to a phase of enlightenment and accepted the separation of church and state. Unfortunately, there is no new Quran. I would be indeed very much in favor if uh, Muslims but, would get rid of all the, all the violent passages from the Quran, get rid of it, tear it out the Quran, and come with a new, more moderate Islam. Well, should, all the, should all of the violence in the Old Testament and the calls uh, to kill people and slaughter them, sh yeah. should that also be eliminated? Should uh, Christians today, Jews, go back and purge their books? No, like I said, the Old no? Testament, no, Just the like Muslims. I said, the, the Old Testament was followed by a more moderate New Testament, whereas we have not seen, because Muslims believe it's the word of Allah and it cannot be criticized. Um, there has not been, and there is not, and there probably will never be uh, a new uh, Quran. And at the same time, 
we have in the world no problem with Christians or Jewish exceptions of course are there. We have a problem um, all over the world with the ideology of hatred which is called Islam.